Here we are! Welcome back! What is Animal Crossing and how do you play this game? Thanks so much for coming everyone, it's Abdallah here bringing you guys another exciting episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. Oh my gosh, it's been a little minute, hasn't it? Since the last time we spoke, I did a good ten and a half hour livestream collecting every single critter for you guys. Did you guys use that guide? Tell me you did! Because I was so tired after doing that one. Anyway, thanks so much for being here. Uh, so, today's episode is finding all of the bugs and fish for August in Northern Hemisphere. Those of you guys that are part of Northern Hemisphere, hands up in the comments. Good to see you all. Yeah, we're gonna do exactly that. And I think that might be our migratory locust, but lo and behold, I don't have a, uh... I don't have a bug net. I should have actually came out with a bug net. Womp womp. So, Northern Hemisphere folks out there, hands up in the comments. And if you guys are a Southern Hemisphere folk, give me a... Give me a smiley face emote so I know who I'm talking to out here. These are This is my old race gear. Look at this. Yo, yo, we actually came off a good victory last time we played Animal Crossing, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we did. Yo, we did have a good victory. How many guys were there? Uh, that was amazing, by the way. We had a nice race. It was a, it was a very good race. Outdoorsy net, here we go, let's go, that's all I need is two outdoorsy nets, and uh, that, that's it. This is all the junk that I had from the race. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it was good. Okay, so anyway, if you guys are Northern Hemisphere, you guys can feel free to follow my footsteps on all this stuff. There's really not that many bugs for August, so we're just gonna go catch them and show you guys exactly what they look like, and hopefully that's one of them. He was just waiting for me, so I'm not really sure what's going on. This might be our migratory. Locust that made the thumbnail. If it is, then GG. Oh my gosh. Hello? Ooh. Really, I'm so good at Animal Crossing. Aw, oh, dang, it's just a dumb grasshopper. All right, lame. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are going to now enact our display. Remember our little checklist that we usually do? Boom! Right over here. Our checklist is on screen right now. Now you know what I'm searching for. So, let's take a look. It is currently uh, the beginning of August at the time of you guys watching this right now. That's right, you guys are watching this video in August. Believe it or not, it's true. Uh, so it's uh, August 1st uh, and 8.06 in the morning. So we can find the migratory locust and we can find a rice grasshopper. So let's go looking around and seeing what we can find. Uh, that's kind of what I want to find first. I just want to get the bugs out of the way and then maybe I'll come over to one of your islands and pick up some fish bait. What do you think? Would that be cool? Well, that'd be cool. Catch some fish baiterson. Yo, there's a lot of weeds in this town. Dude, who upkeeps this town? Yo, what's up, Raymond? I still haven't talked to this guy. <laughs> I still have not talked to Raymundo. Oh, man, there were so many videos that I wanted to make. My goodness. All right, I got to get caught up this week. All right, let's respawn these bugs, yeah? I have not talked to Raymond. That's a trophy cat, man. One does not simply talk to trophy cats. If uh, my record proves to be uh, legit, then we have two trophy cats, right? <laughs> we got double Raymonds. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Don't look at those. Don't look at those critters in the back. Do not look at them. That's my next tutorial video. Don't even look at them. I should have put them all away for the video. Dang it. But then we might have started the video late. Hmm. What do you know about that? We might have started the video late. Can't ever do that. Anyway. Now, today's going to be a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Um, no idea how exactly we're going to spawn these bugs, but I'm just going to be running around and seeing what we can see. I'm not going to try to catch everything. Um, I definitely don't want to mess around with any of the uh, tropical trees. I think that's kind of lame. And this is just a regular old grasshopper, so we'll see. Um, there's also a walker cicada on the trees as well. So I have to go up top towards the trees and see if I can find them. I gotta go find them. Yo, remember subscribe? Oh, dude, subscribe. Yeah, man, I remember that guy. I subscribed to that guy. Pudge? Oh, I didn't even show you Jess. Jess was putting in the work. Oh, that was probably it. All right, I gotta be a little bit careful. A little bit more careful. Jess is putting in the work in this town. I don't know if you guys saw some of this stuff, but once uh, once we're able to get the dream addresses going, I'll definitely give you my dream address and you can mess around on Science Island and see what's new and exciting. It, it's kind of a fun time, right? We haven't... What? 
おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお Since we stopped playing it, <laughs> that thing's huge. Yoink! Please be the one. Brown cicada? Oh, what the heck does a walker cicada even look like? Is it on the ground? Is that a grasshopper? I don't know. Uh, there's the mother and daughter rocks. All right, there's、uh, Raymundo. Oh my gosh. All right, you know what? That's fine. It's fine. Just because it's a, it's a cicada that flies away does not mean that it's the right one. All right, so let's just slowly look around. We're going to slowly look around our trees here. Look at this little outdoor area. You see this? Look at this nice little patio. Little swing. Little stairway to the top here. What is this? Who makes these things? And look at this. Look at, and that's a dog park. Oh my gosh, you guys didn't even see the dog park. <laughs> you guys haven't even seen my town, man. My town's doing,、uh, doing some pretty good work. Oh my gosh. What are, the, what are these trees? Why are there trees on that tree? What's up, Emma? Welcome. Oh, is that it? Migratory Locust! Got him. Thank you. Migratory locust, things just went south for this guy. Alright, that's the one. That's for you, Emma. I'm gonna name that one after you, alright? We're gonna name that Emma the Migratory Locust. I hope you're okay with that. Alright, Migratory Locust, check. We now need a Walker Cicada, and we need、uh, a Rice Grasshopper. Oh, 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 run! Ew! Yoing! Is that the one? No, it's a giant cicada. I guess it is pretty big. We need a walker cicada. It's kind of like、uh, The Walking Dead, if you guys have ever seen that,、uh, that show. Oh my gosh! Wait a second. There are purple star fragments on the ground! What happened? Who dare come into my town and shake my star trees? <gasps> we will find you. And we will. What is the worst thing you could do to someone in Animal Crossing? Hit them on the head with a net? Like, what's the threat? We will erase your save file! <gasps> Victoria Boardman, hey, welcome! Thank you so much for becoming a member today. Victoria? The rice grasshopper I get will be named after you. <laughs> Thanks so much for,、uh, for becoming members, guys. All right. Yeah, what's the worst thing that you could do to someone in Animal Crossing? Chase them down with a hatchet? Kick them out of the town? Steal their bells? Oh, that's good. That's good. Those are, those are definitely some mean things that you guys probably have already done to your siblings in this game, and you're just telling me about it now. It's okay, your secret's safe with me. But not the rest of the internet. I can't really,、uh, can't really speak on them.、Ah! Don't look at that thing. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, that's the one right there. That's the one.、Ah! Hoya! Hit him with the net. <whistles> yeah, we gotta go find this thing. Look at this nice little area. This looks really nice.、Uh, that's cool. And I don't know if you guys saw that spot too. Alright, let's go find some walker cicadas, man. And look at what Stonehenge doing over here. It's kind of random. I like the flowers. You guys like the flower arrangement? That's pretty great. Next time you see Jess, let her know. Say, hey, I love the flowers. And then I say, hey, stop spending so much time playing Animal Crossing and do something. Right? <laughs> oh, that was probably it. St 
stop playing Animal Crossing for five hours a day. Right? Do you, am I the only one? <laughs> but you get to play video games all day. Like, yeah, it's not apples to apples. What you t oh my gosh, who in the world is Rudolph the non-red-nosed reindeer? That's actually a pretty cool looking, looking dude right there. I don't know. He's not worth it. He's not coming to my house. Who was that, by the way? Did you guys know who that was? Eric? You guys think his name is Eric? Oh, interesting. Eric. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm glad that you know him so quickly. What is this? Oh, is that a butterfly on the ground? Oops, stepped on it. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a bug. Oh, that was cool. All right, let's move. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh, that's a giant cicada. It's humongoid. Okay, that's a giant cicada. Great. Not the one I wanted, but we can go and say hi to Eric. You guys want to say hi to Eric? What's he drinking? Like, look at that little can of, like, orange soda. When do we get orange soda? Right? When's the orange soda update and the donuts, right? I want to be able to hold a donut and take a bite into it. I don't care if it refills my stamina or allows me to lift up trees. I don't care about that. What's that? Is that the rice grasshopper? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, <laughs> yo, he just pivots. <laughs> okay, you know what? You're not worth it. See you. Goodbye. Ah! Every time. Scary. It's so funny. The grasshopper just rotates on an axis and then moves. It's so good. So realistic. The deer, the reindeer guy. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I haven't actually messed around with uh, adding any more villagers, although I do need to do that soon. I need to uh, go on a rare villager hunt for some peeps. Maybe like a second Raymond? Maybe a third Raymond? Have a whole island. <laughs> Have a whole island, man. Just of Raymonds. He's like, why do you keep coming into my room here? What is your problem, sir? I said, I'm out here in my, like, swim shoes, dude. Don't look at me. I'm rocking, uh, I'm rocking a really cool pink right now. Pink and purple. Or is it purple? I don't know. I, I, that seems to be a thing. It's either pink or purple. The net is pink. The shoes are neon pink. And the shirt is probably pink and purple. You guys let me know. Do you guys see pink and purples differently than I do? One person's pink is another person's purple. It's really weird. I've been noticing that a lot recently. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I probably... What? What in the actual... What are you doing here? What's up, Rockin' Rabbit? Good to see you. Miyama Stag. Okay, I remember. That was a nightmare. Oh my gosh. You guys remember that this month? Okay. Hands up in the comments if you caught every single bug in the month of July available in whatever hemisphere you had. Because that's no easy feat. I remember I spent like a good eight hours looking for the golden stag. And did you guys use my strategy on that? Of uh, implanting the transplanting, I should say. Transplanting the, the trees to the Nook Miles Island. Did you guys do all that? Dang, some of you guys did. That's pretty crazy cool. That golden, I think it was the golden stag, right? And the elephant. Yoink! Giant cicada, not cicada enough for me. I'm not seeing this grasshopper either. This is kind of, oh, that's, that was the one. It's super tiny. It looks like a little small child. That's the one. Yep. All right, that's cool. I'll get it. I'll get it. 
Yeah, that's not it. That's a red cicada, brown cicada. Dang, dude. All right, so I've never seen such a tiny little baby cicada before, so I think that's going to be it. We will get it, and it'll be amazing. Long baby cicadas, Christy, absolutely. Do the turnips on the tree get spoiled? I don't know, man. Do they look spoiled? You tell me. I'm never going to shake them to find out. Yo, they're growing, man. They're just like... I bought them at like one bell a piece. It was great. So now whenever I sell them, whoa, I'm going to make so much money. I'm going to make like 1,800 bells. No, how much am I going to make? If I bought them for one bell a piece and the max is what, 600 that you can sell for? And there are groups of 10? How much money am I going to make? Profit, go. <laughs> it's a math quiz for you. You wish you knew. Is this a rice grasshopper? No. Are you a rice grasshopper? Rice. Rice. Rice, rice, baby. No, that's, uh, yeah, that's the migratory locust. That's a giant cicada. We're gonna run. Oh, and that is a brown cicada. All right, not too bad. Where exactly is the walking cicada? He's walking all over me, man. I, I I scared at least two of them away, not knowing what they look like on the tree. So going into it, trying to find them. Ah, catch that thing, dude. <gasps> no, ew. Okay, okay, that's a stag of some sort. That is a little beetle, goodbye. That is a giant cicada, okay. Oh, that's something, that's weird. Oh, was that an orchid mantis or something? There's still a lot of bugs out here, so we better, uh, we better figure this out quick. But not too quick. Like, that right there is not what I wanted. Doink. No way, man. All right, all right. Walking Cicada just walked away. How are we going to get him? But feel free to use this strategy too. Like if you got somewhere to like walk in and out of, that's gonna be the uh, the best way for you to respawn all these little bugs over here. So plant a whole bunch of trees, scare off the ones you don't want, and just have a field day. Good luck, you might find something cool. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, it's oh my gosh, it just committed. Committed to the water. Must be one of those water hopping uh, grasshoppers. Is that him? No, eh, that's something I've seen before. Robust. It doesn't really look robust. I don't know, like who who's the person in charge of naming all these bugs, right? A robust cicada? I mean, a giant cicada is pretty robust. I will never invite Eric. <laughs> Shut that down real quick. I don't have a... Um... No, no, we're not going to do it. I don't have an empty plot, nor am I kicking out any of my villagers right now. I will never invite him. He is not coming to live with us. I need cats, or I need wolves. And that's really it. Cats or wolves, man. Hey, are you a rice grasshopper? Do you like rice? You know, I don't know what a rice grasshopper looks like. Huh. I guess I'm going to try to catch every single grasshopper slash locust, and then uh, one of them is going to be the rice one. I could go look up a picture, though. But it's more fun. It's more fun when you guys want to help out and describe what they look like in the comments, right? It's a little bit more fun. Oh my gosh, I know something that Abdallah doesn't know. <gasps> it's a feeling, trust me, a lot of you guys have it. It's great. It's a great feeling. 
Dun 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 dun. Give me this thing, man. I, don't, I thought we were gonna be done in like an hour. This is actually really, really trying. I think bugs are naturally harder to catch than any kind of fish. Because fish, you could just use um, the fish bait in order to get it. But this is just something else. Oh, whoa. Okay, no. Thank you. This little outdoor cafe with the bamboo for, oh, no. Dude, where is it? Dude, I let two of them go. And I'm surprised I'm not seeing these grasshoppers either, man. You know who I'm gonna blame? I'm gonna blame Eric. It's all Eric's fault. Migatory. Rice grasshoppers are pretty small. Pretty small? It's a subjective term. Size of an orange? Size of Eric's left antler? The size of his nose? That's pretty small. He's got a pretty small nose. Love it. Keep going. Keep going. Grasshoppers are rich in protein. You know, that's the thing that people eat. You know, candied grasshoppers? Hands up in the comments if you've ever eaten one. I don't think I can... Uh, I don't think I can muster the courage. Like, I'm a big foodie. I am. I'm not, I'm not ever going to knock it because I haven't tried it, but I just don't think I have the courage to try it. Anyone? No one? Dude, no one with their hands up saying they've eaten a grasshopper. I find that hard to believe. Really? Rice... Almost ate a candied scorpion. Ah, yeah, almost, though, but you didn't. <laughs> but see, like, if you had a grasshopper and a little candy lollipop, would you eat it? Yes or no in the comments. If someone gave you a candied grasshopper in a lollipop, would you eat it? A simple yes or no. A simple yes or no, that's all. That's all I ask in the comments. A simple yes or Simple yes or no. Eat a grasshopper in a candy. Oh my gosh, that's him. Yoink. That's the rice, baby. Rice, rice, baby. Got him. All right, I've been looking for a gluten-free alternative. <laughs> I, little did you know that I just ate him. I didn't put him in my pocket. Mmm, yum, yummy. All right, so you guys would not, I think majority rules for this one, you guys would not eat a grasshopper? How could you? Why wouldn't you eat it? Oops, sorry, wrong dude. Why wouldn't you eat a grasshopper? Come on, man. Go knock it. <laughs> All right, so that's two out of six. Two out of six things today. All right, we gotta find this little cicada though. We gotta, oh! Is that him? No, this looks robust. So robust. So, you guys, a lot of you guys would not eat one. There's a very small percentage of you guys that would eat a grasshopper, which is pretty interesting. Oh, that's cool. I'm more curious of, like, if you don't want to eat a grasshopper, sure, no one's forcing you. No one's got a... No one's got your Nintendo Switch and saying, I'm gonna delete your Animal Crossing town if you don't eat this grasshopper. No one's no one's threatening you. But what's the reasoning why you wouldn't want to try it? When in fact, there are hundreds, if not millions of people around the world that eat grasshoppers on the regular. What's making you not want to try it? <gasps> My little child! Give me that long baby! Yeah! Ooh! Got him. Alright, here we go. I caught a walker cicada. Pfft. I walk all the time, and no one calls me Walker Abdallah. Wow! Look at that! Look at that little line of dialogue. Look at that! Oh my gosh. Pfft. No one calls me Walker Abdallah. Yeah, maybe when uh, the zombie apocalypse comes on board, and I bite the dust, I'll be called Walker Abdallah. 
Boom, that's it. Let's go fishing. All right, halfway there. Let's go fishing. We're going to switch up gears right now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that's a really easy trick on how to get all those bugs. It's just plant a whole bunch of trees near somewhere that you can respawn the area. And then once you respawn the area, you're all set and ready to go, all right? All right, now to sell the junk that I don't need. Uh, office desk, yeah, this stuff. Flimsy axe, stone tablet, a bell voucher. Yeah, I guess sell that for stuff. Camellias. Dun, 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 dun. What's what? Brown cicada? This is the migratory. Okay, so we're going to go migratory. This one is the giant. Okay, this one's robust, robust. This one's the baby. Walker, Miyama, giant, grasshopper, and this one's the rice. Okay, so good. I'm just going to empty out my pockets here. All right, so we have migratory locust. We have rice, grasshopper, and then we also have the walker cicada, and then everything else uh, gets trashed. High tops and... Oh, that's fine. All right, everything gets trashed. Good job. Goodbye. All right, that's great. Okay, so let's go get our fish bait. Let's go get our fish bait and let's go hit the uh, hit the pier. Let's hit the sea. Let's find some cool stuff and hopefully we can find the fish that we need, right? What's up, turnips? Hello, hello, good to see you. All right, here we go. Give me a fishing net. I'm gonna do this one. Fish fishing rod and the colorful fishing rod. That's really all we need. And then I think we need some fish bait. I don't remember crafting any. The Animal Crossing King does not craft his own fish bait. One does not simply. We go out to your town and we visit you guys for some fish bait, right? All right, here we go. I need, this is really bothering me. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this. Do, 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 do. I thought I did like a hundred fish bait. No, I didn't, huh? All right, let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'm gonna do ten. Yeah, let's, let's just get out a hundred fish bait and then we'll call it. And then we can play a game called, at what point, at what number, oh, this is 98 then, at what number <laughs> are we going to get this fish? All right, so other things I don't need, we're gonna put that in storage, we're gonna put that in storage, a grasshopper, a bush, this thing, a clump of weeds, a ladder. Should have gotten rid of this junk. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, got that fish bait. Let's hit it. Okay, so we're going to go in the sea. I'm going to go... You know what? I'm going to go to the other side. I don't know what size these fish are. And I honestly don't care about what size they are. <laughs> um, Abdallah, it's a size 5. Um, actually, it's a size 4. Right? Who am I? We'll just catch it. Is it small or is it big? Is that him right there? I don't know. Wow. I don't know what he, I don't know what size he is. A boot! What's that all a boot? What's that all a boot? Um, oh my gosh, what is that? Ah, run! Oh, I'm out of here! Aquatic creatures! Oh no, thank you. What in the world was that? What did I just witness with my eyeballs? Alright, that's obviously not a, a... A manta ray. A moray eel. Oh my gosh, is that one? What the heck is this? Does a ray have a spike on it? That's a silly fish. Is that what it's called? Sucker fish. <laughs> yeah. Silly fish. No, oh, that's a big one, dude. That's like a great white, man. I'm feeling it. Yo! Oh, man! Oh, my gosh! Look at his teeth! Oh! 
Oh man, yo, I'm feeling it. You like how I called it too? I just know. I know the rumble pattern of a great white shark. I catch them in my uh, catch them in my sleep, dude. They're so easy to catch. That was scary though. This is a sea bass. No, it's not. This is big. Yeah, baby! Give me that! I caught a ray, a few more, and I'll have a tan. Don't call me tan lines. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Mm, Abdallah, that was a size 6, wasn't it? No, it wasn't a size 6, kid. You kid? Alright, we're done. So that was a ray. I need an eel now. I think an eel may look like an eel. Like a ribbon eel. It might be like a little shadowy. I don't know. We'll find out. That was cool, dude. We got a ray. I guess I'll catch this. Or maybe, you know what? It's not even... There's no point in catching them. Why am I catching the sharks? You think I need money? You think I need these guys? I don't. Alright. Focus, guys. We gotta focus. I gotta catch a ninja turtle. I gotta catch a ninja turtle by the end of today. Looks kind of like an eel. Oh, wow. Zebra turkey fish? Barred knife jaws? <laughs> Yo, zebra turkey fish. What do you even know about it? One man's barred knife jaw is another man's zebra turkey fish. Cause it's striped like a turkey. Alright, this one looks like a... It looks really rather, like, long. I mean, looks like it. Let's go. Bana. Dang it, zebra turkeys. All right, let's get this eel, man. Uh huh. Oh no, no, no! We say no to sharks. Sorry, man. You can't overfish the sharks. No matter how many times they get respawned one after another, you cannot do it. Maybe I gotta get out of this. Uh, I think I'm just dumping. I'm dumping this stuff right now. Maybe I need to be out of the window of sharks. Like, find some certain time of the day. Because I have a feeling I'm just tossing this fish bait. I'm just feeding the fish today. So, one would have to take a look at all the timetables. Oh, yeah! Here we go. All the timetables. Find out the optimal time. Yeah! Let's go! Not Ribbon Eel, baby. Yes! Ooh, look at that guy. He's got his little eyeball and his mouth opens up. Yeah. Well, I caught a Mora Eel. When you're in love... That's Samore! Wow, that's actually clever. That's so clever. Slow clap. Slow, comma, clap. Good job. That's good. That's good, man. That's Samore, man. Alright, here we go. Watch out for that, uh, that little sh crab that's on the shore that washed up. It's kind of scary. You do not want that over there. Pudgy, out of the way. Alright, let's go find a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, shall we? How many guys cannot wait for a firework to look exactly like my face? Fireworks in the brand new Animal Crossing August update. What do you guys think about that? Is it cool? Is it lame? Who cares about fireworks? Rated out of 10 on your first impressions. On how excited you are for fireworks. Me? 2 out of 10? I don't care about fireworks. Care about Red's items though. What do you guys want to listen to? You guys got a song you like? KK Disco? KK Dirge? Oh, creepy scary. Flamenco? What do you guys want? Where are my new members at? Yo, Victoria, where are you at? Victoria? B. 
Victoria, you choose. Where are you? Victoria says 8 out of 10 for the update. Tell me what song you want. And don't you dare say bubblegum. KK Parade. Alright, let's go. Don't you dare say bubblegum. That's an interesting choice. No one's ever said that song, the clown song before. Yo, those are two Ninja Turtles. Leonardo versus uh, Michelangelo. I don't think a turtle's gonna be that size. That's a turtle. What's up, Joshua? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell. Can't even see it. <laughs> Hey, it's Josh, man. Everyone welcome Josh. What's up, buddy? Well, ladies and gents, let's see uh, one of these is not like the other. Oh, that's lame. Ew, look at his long neck. Ooh. One of these is not like the other. That's super lame. Come on, man. No one wants stuff in buckets. Get out of here. Who is in charge? Who's in charge? Yo, you like making uh, animals dizzy in real life? You ever put your cat on an office chair and just spin them? No, I've never done that either. That's a turtle. <laughs> Look, like we got turtles all over. The oh my gosh. And like this is just a lame little turtle, dude. Forget it. All right, let's go to Blathers. Let's go give them some stuff. And then we're donezo. So that's the soft shell turtle. I said that's a turtle. And then we're done. That's all that's all you had to do for August. Look, I just spent uh, 40 minutes. Spent 40 minutes finding the stuff. And you're done for August, man. That makes up for July's 8 hours catching those stupid bugs. I'm good. What's up, Blathers? All right, here we go. Marvelous. All right, here we go. So remember, for Northern Hemisphere, you've got three aquatic creatures, which is the moray eel. You have the ray, and then you have the soft shell turtle. And then for bugs, you got migratory locust that's just jumping around. There's a super tiny baby cicada on the trees, and there's a super tiny baby grasshopper. So that's the best way to remembering uh, all of them. And you just really have to catch one of each. That's it. All right, splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, oh, no need to pull them out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, we're good, man. We are absolutely good. So that's it. And that was the time zone uh, of when I did it. Honestly, you can see over here. I just did it all at eight o'clock in the morning. As easy as that. The windows kind of lined up that I was able to get everything in one fell swoop without having to worry about coming back to a certain time. Or if you guys are playing traditionally, then like waiting for like night to fall in order to catch these guys. So yeah, eight in the morning, done. On August 1st, you guys can be done with all this stuff. And of course, if you guys are more customized approach, then uh, you're all set and ready to go, so. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's really all I got. <laughs> There's really nothing else for me to do right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to compile all the footage so that you guys have all the information of Northern and Southern Hemispheres like we do at the beginning of every August. Uh, join me tomorrow, potentially, if the update gets pushed out a little bit early. We'll, uh, we'll jump into that brand new update, and I'll show you guys everything you need to know about the fireworks, all about the brand new Dream Suites and Luna, and then, uh, what else is there? That's kind of it. I don't know. It's something, right? It's something better than nothing. 
So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, that's all I got for you right now. Thank you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. It'll be a great time. Make sure that you guys are all subscribed for the latest and greatest uh, Animal Crossing content. If you guys have not already checked out the main channel page, we got tons happening on the channel. Uh, we took a little break from Animal Crossing in order to bust out Paper Mario. So we've done a lot of that content. I would definitely suggest taking a look at it. It's super fun and I enjoyed my time with it. But of course, we have not forgotten about Animal Crossing and tips and tricks videos. So we're gonna hit that up hard from here on out until the next videos get published, right? Or the next, I'm sorry, until the next games get published. There's really nothing else to do in Paper Mario. So we're really just focusing about all this Animal Crossing content. And now with the advent of the brand new Dream Suites, everyone's gonna have some Dream Suite codes. So it's gonna be so much easier to visit all of your towns and take a look around. It's gonna be so cool. So I can't wait to do it. It's gonna be great. I hope that you guys will be there along the way. Shout outs to our brand new members that came on board. Thanks for being here. And of course, all of you guys that are subscribed. Thanks for doing that. It only takes a quick second to click on that red button and uh, we'll absolutely hit it hard all throughout the week. If not tomorrow morning, if it, uh, if it updates, it's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. Fireworks, so excited, two out of 10, man. But dream sweets though, that's 10 out of 10 excitement. I can, I'm sleeping, fireworks I sleep, but dream sweets, I'm woke, hands down. You better be ready for it. All right, thanks so much for being here. Uh, good luck on your hunts. I hope you find all the bugs when August comes around in your time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.